Guys, well, you know, Radio Europe is actually funded by the United States government. For you people watching Radio Europe on YouTube with the propaganda channel. Oh, we're talking about Champlain Tower South. Look at this person down here. What are they doing? And up here are the video cameras. And this one, yes, it's facing down, but you can bet it has some angle of view that would incorporate part of this, well, the whole walkway, I would guess, down this building here also. Using his telephone. I have, nope, that's not a telephone. Um, fire department connection, FDC, fire department connection, or fire department, I'm trying to make up a new C central. Whatever. All right, so this, these are the stones I'm going to talk about in the longer video. These stones, they come out not to daylight. But here is a drain here. Where does it go? I don't know where it goes. I don't know. It could be just an opening on the side end and goes right there. Right here is where the um, sheet piling is for the structure. Sheet piling for this structure is in this wall here. The longer video, we'll, we'll talk about the sidewalk that was in here, the lights that were removed, the consequences of that, and a request to Miami Herald to do some foyers for Miami side of the sidewalk and the lighting. Lighting. Guys, you know why I don't believe in throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Just because I say Miami Herald drops the ball on a couple of things, did I say they dropped the ball on everything else? No. Miami Herald seems to be a good source of FOIA request. That they get it done and then the, the data goes public after that because they gave it to one. Sometimes they just publish and go, you know what, Miami Herald, it's over here. That's the way they do FOIAs. Um, I did the FOIA for the... FIU bridge collapse. If Miami Herald was still interested in that, they could still go grab that. I'm saying it to, so they can have at it. So I don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Just because they make one or two fouls doesn't mean they're just all trash. Never throw out the baby with the bathwater. Somebody like me might give you five times good data and then five times junk data. Hey, grab the five times good data. Again, this one is showing that there's more cameras present. This is kind of interesting because we know NIST was on the property. NIST has not released any videos, have they? Why aren't these people releasing? Neither was Miami. Miami has not released these videos. This clearly could have been part of the investigation to access these at that point. Even though they're private property, you could have quickly found a reason to say, you know, we'd like to have access to that. We're on target here. We need to grab it. It's time of the essence. Um, can we have at it? It's, it's, in, it's, act, act, it's actually capturing public information. So it's not like they, they're, they can complain that it's our private information. This is out here in the clearly non-trespass, unless you've been warned, uh, zone that you can walk all around here. In fact, Miami Harrow could find out if this was part of the demand, maybe, to put these cameras here to monitor this. They're obviously safety cameras, so they would work all night. Security cameras. Love you guys. This is the short version. Long versions are coming. One and two and three videos on this. It's pretty in-depth.